Hi you two, happy Monday. Welcome to our first Fast Five video of this week. So just like normal, we'll do a week of similar questions with different numbers so you get used to them and so you can practice all the things that we've already done in class and see how much more accurate and how much faster you can get across the week. So number one, 17 add nine equals something. Number two, what times five is 25. Number three, 50 subtract 23 equals what? Number four, 23 add 40. Number five, three add two is less than three add what? And the challenge, 23 add 20 is the same as 33 add how many? So you are going to pause me now. Okay. If you're back, that means that you have done your answers and you're ready to go through them. Number one, 17 add nine. If you don't know your uh, addition really snappily in your head and you're adding nine, have a think about what you could do in your head to get that answer really quickly. Because nine is quite close to another number that we use really easily in our heads. 9 is only one smaller than 10. So if we use 10 instead of 9 and then remember to take 1 off because 9 is 1 less than 10, then we will be able to do it in our heads really quickly. So if we did 17 add 10, I know that's 27, but I need to take 1 off because 9 is 1 less than 10, which gives me 26. Now you might have done it a different way, you might have just added the nine, you might have added three and then six if you'd partitioned the nine, that's fine. But for me, if I'm adding nine or something with nine ones, I tend to just make round it up to the next 10 and then take one away. Number two, what do I multiply five by to get 25? Well, some of us might count in fives and say, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and that's 5. I've done 5 times 5. Others will know that there are 5 5s in 25. Number 3, 50 subtract 23. Now, you might know that double 25 is 50, so you might use that to help you, or you might do something like, I'm going to take the 1s away, so 50 subtract the 3 1s, is 47 and then I'm going to take the tens away which is 47 subtract 20 which is 27. Number four, 23 add 40. Now adding tens is something that we need to be able to do really quickly in our heads and we need to remember that we're just looking at the tens column. The ones stay the same if we're adding just tens. And all I'm adding is four tens. So if I've got 23 and I'm adding four tens, I've got two tens, add four tens, which is six tens, 60, and my ones are the same, 63. Well done if you got that right, because I know that was one that we struggled with in class when we were doing it before Christmas. Right, number five. This one, you could have had lots of different answers. You could have had many different numbers. So if there is an adult nearby, Hopefully they can help you check whether or not you got this right, or you might just be able to work it out yourself. So three add two is less than three add what? Now I know that three add two is five, so I need to find something that is going to add to three to make more than five, because it says three add two is less than what's on our other side. So you could have had three or four or five or six or 100 or 1000 as long as it was three or more so a number that is bigger than two basically so three and up is what you could have had so if you got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty or anything above that then you got that right well done and then your challenge question we've got 23 add 20 on this side and 33 add something on this side. Now 23 add 20 is 43. So this side has to equal 43 as well. So what do I add to, four, to 33 to get 43? I add 10. Some of you might have noticed that 33 
is 10 more than 23. So I've taken 10 from that 20. See, I've taken 10, put it on the 23 to give me 33 out of 10. And there'll be more of those questions for the rest of the week. Have a lovely day and I look forward to hearing about all of your wonderful scores.